Black at Google Cloud Next, and I'm here with Alex. And he's going to talk to us about his session, Accelerating AI Inference Workloads with Google Cloud GPUs and TPUs. Thank you for being here with us, Alex. Thank you so much for having me. Wonderful. So can you tell us, introduce yourself, and tell us a little bit about what you do at Google, and also a brief synopsis of your talk? Of course. So my name is Alex Spiridonov. I'm a group product manager at Google. I lead our AI Accelerators software team. So our team creates the software for cloud TPUs and GPUs, and I lead the product management team working closely with engineers and our many amazing collaborators across Google and the industry. Now, the focus of my talk today is going to be on inference, which is one of the key workloads that we see with AI today. Once you have trained your large language model or your generative AI model, or once you have taken an open model and fine-tuned it, then you need to deploy it for inference, which is also called serving. And that is a really key workload. And what our customers really care about is cost efficiency at scale. Essentially, they want to take those large language models or Gen AI models, they want to deploy it to their millions of customers around the world, and they want to serve them with as high performance as possible, with as low cost as possible. So balancing that high performance and cost optimizations becomes really, really important. And so this week, we're really excited to announce some major advancements in inference on Google Cloud for both TPUs and GPUs. We announced a new high performance inference engine that is optimized for large language models. It's called Jetstream, and it provides high performance, cost efficient, scalable serving or inference for LLMs on XLA devices, starting with cloud TPUs. And best of all, it's open source. So it's all out there in GitHub, and we invite developers and we invite community to build with us. We also announced Max Diffusion. Now, whereas Jetstream is for large language models, Max Diffusion is for diffusion models or text to image, text to video, generative AI models. That's another really important workload that a lot of our customers are interested in. And Max Diffusion is a collection of high performance, open source reference model implementations that are optimized to be really, really efficient on our AI accelerators. So our developers can take one of those open models, they can customize it, and they can deploy it for inference and get that great performance and cost efficiency. And then lastly, we're sharing some exciting updates to our GPU product portfolio for inference, announcing both additions to the A3 VM family, as well as some ongoing partnerships and collaboration that we have with NVIDIA to bring the next generation Blackwell platform from NVIDIA to our AI hypercomputer architecture. Wow, so many exciting launches. Uh, okay, so going back to inference, right? That balance of cost and efficiency. What would you say are key considerations to keep in mind when selecting GPUs and TPUs? Absolutely. So the important thing to take away here is that Google Cloud is the only place on the planet that offers our customers a choice of two proven high-performance platforms for inference, and that's cloud TPUs and cloud GPUs. Those are both purpose-built AI accelerators that are really excellent for serving models of all shapes and sizes, whether that's LLMs, generative AI models like diffusion models, or even ranking and recommendation models. And what becomes really important is those combined hardware and software performance optimizations. So let's take TPUs, for example. As I mentioned, we built Jetstream, which is our new high-performance LLM inference engine for XLA devices. And what makes Jetstream so fast and so cost-efficient is that combined power of the hardware and software optimizations. Because we have the TPU hardware, which is really optimized for high performance, high throughput, low latency, and cost efficiency. And then we build this very advanced software stack that really takes full advantage of those hardware capabilities with key performance optimizations like continuous batching, efficient attention algorithms, quantization, the list goes on and on. And we support popular open models like Google's Gemma and also open models like Llama. And we have a long roadmap of future performance optimizations. We're really building this for the long term and we're inviting the community to build with us. So that's how we achieve peak performance and cost efficiency on the TPU side. On the GPU side, Google Cloud has an amazing collaboration with NVIDIA to bring the latest NVIDIA GPUs, like the NVIDIA H100s and the future HG8s V200 GPUs to Google Cloud. And not only are we bringing the latest hardware innovations from NVIDIA to Google Cloud, we're also optimizing and supercharging our software stack to run really well in those NVIDIA's GPUs. So for example, we collaborated closely with NVIDIA to optimize our JAX ML framework to be really, really efficient on NVIDIA GPUs. JAX is a really powerful ML framework 
because it is Python based and it's compiler oriented, which means that it's both easy to use and it's also really fast. And now, thanks to our great collaboration with NVIDIA, it is also highly optimized for both large-scale training and inference on NVIDIA GPUs. So in summary, it's really about giving our customers a choice. Whether you want the latest and greatest NVIDIA GPUs and the software stack that's optimized to take full advantage, whether that's NVIDIA's own software stack or the JAX ML framework, or if you want the end-to-end -end hardware software optimizations and TPUs, all of those options are available to our customers and they're only available on Google Cloud. Wow, I, I love what you're saying about kind of meeting customers where they are, right? We're giving them the options here. We have three amazing options for them to choose from. Wonderful, okay, so in terms of the unique demands of generative models, right? Uh, like large language models, what are some recommendations for TPU versus GPU deployment? Yeah, that's a great question. And again, we really think of it as an and and as a complement. So it's not a matter of you know, choosing one versus the other. It's really about giving us our customers a choice and giving them the opportunity to choose from all of those great options. Now, to your specific question about what is it about those workloads that makes them so unique and so challenging, large language model inference and generative AI inference is really different from traditional web serving in the era where Google was born, or even from serving maybe traditional deep neural networks. And the reason why it's different is that it's just a more complex process. There are more complex inference tasks that are involved. So let's take large language models, for example. There's actually two stages in which inference happens. There is the pre-fill stage where you send your prompt, and then there is the decode stage or the generation stage. And that's where the model actually makes the predictions. It's, it generates the output in response to the user's prompt or the user's query. And those two stages are actually quite different, and they have different computational demands. The first one is more, we could say, compute bound. And the other one is more memory bound or memory bandwidth bound. And so the bottom line is that it really takes very careful optimization and very careful tuning of the software stack to really be able to perform all of those stages in the prediction process very, very efficiently. But the good news for our developers is that we have already done that work for them. We have optimized Jetstream, and we're partnering with NVIDIA to optimize the GPU software stack to run really, really well on TPUs and GPUs on Google Cloud. And not only that, we also provide reference models. So we provide out-of-the-box open source implementations that are optimized for inference, both on TPUs and GPUs. That makes it really easy for developers to get started because they can take one of those open models in a framework of their choice, whether that's JAX or PyTorch, and take that model. They can customize it. It's all open source. And then very easily, they can deploy it for inference on an AI accelerator of their choice. So we're investing not only in industry-leading performance and cost efficiency, we also want the developer experience to be as seamless as possible. And we want our software and our tools that we're building and that we're building with our partners to really feed seamlessly into the developer workflow on Google Cloud. I mean, it sounds like really there's nothing to sacrifice here. It sounds like I want to, you know, I want to work with this today. It's like so much flexibility and options and we're meeting customers and devs where they are. Uh, it really sounds like a wonderful, uh, you know, slew of launches here that people can use. Absolutely. We're really excited to put this in the hands of our customers and the hands of our developers. It is all available today. It's all in open source on GitHub. You can go to our Jetstream repository to get started with LLM inference. We have high performance implementations in JAX and PyTorch available to make getting started really easy. Um, similarly with GPUs, all of that software and all of those reference models are also available for our developers to use. And we invite the community to build with us. We are intentionally open sourcing software packages and software capabilities like Jetstream, like Max Diffusion, like Max Text, which is the Max Diffusion for large language models. It's those reference implementations of LLMs. We are intentionally putting them out there for our community to embrace, to adopt, and to build with us. Because inference is an incredibly dynamic space. It is very exciting because there's just so much innovation that is happening. We really want to invite the community to build with us to contribute latest and greatest algorithms, performance optimizations, build in the open so that together we can advance the state of the art and together we can build the best platform for anyone looking to get started with LLMs and Gen AI. So whether you're a researcher pushing the frontiers of natural language understanding or text generation, or if you're a developer looking to integrate the latest cutting edge LLM and Gen AI capabilities into your applications, we want to give you the foundation that you need to succeed.
Amazing. Well, you heard the gentlemen. Go ahead and try this out yourselves. And if folks are going to go try it out themselves, what are some common pitfalls or challenges that one may face when, you know, using inference optimization and how can they be avoided? That is an excellent question. So here it's really important to take a step back and think about the entire user journey or think about the entire life cycle of those models. Because this initial performance optimization and tuning is really, really important. But then comes probably the most important step, which is actually deploying those models to production. That's how you actually serve those models. You serve queries and live traffic from your users. And that's how you make those AI-powered applications actually available to your end users. And there's a set of challenges and there's a set of considerations that are important there to minimize cost. The short answer that I would give here is that we have amazing integration with Google Kubernetes Engine, or GKE. GKE is an orchestration layer that makes it really easy and seamless for our users to manage all of this compute. So whether you're running a small model using just a few accelerators, or if you're serving the largest model that can use dozens or maybe even hundreds of accelerators, GKE makes it very, very easy and seamless for you to orchestrate and manage all of that capacity. But not only that, it also helps you with cost management because it does auto scaling. So as you get more demand, let's say you build an amazing new AI powered app and it makes the front page of the New York Times, suddenly you have all of those users. So GKE will automatically scale up. It will provision more GPUs, more TPUs for you so that you can meet all of that demand without missing a beat. And then let's say the demand quiets down, then it will automatically provision down your capacity so that you're not paying for those accelerators that you're not using. So you can think of it as auto scaling up and down, even scaling down to zero if necessary. And this is just one of the advanced capabilities of GKE. There are many, many others uh, that I would encourage all of our developers to check out. But GKE really provides amazing support and integration for all of Google Cloud Accelerators. And it is one of the key tools and the key capabilities that we give our users to make their cost management as easy and as seamless as possible. Wonderful. I Again, this pattern of you make it easy for people to get in there and just get started. So in 60 seconds or less, actually, if, if someone wants to get started, can you tell our audience, how can they easily get started? Great. So the easiest way to get started is you can go to our GitHub repository. So you can either check out our Jetstream repository on github.com slash google slash Jetstream. We also have a PyTorch version, so Jetstream dash PyTorch. For Max Diffusion, it's similar, github.com slash Google slash Max Diffusion. Max Text also has a repository. We also published a blog post earlier today, so you don't need to memorize all of those links. You can just check out our blog post on the wonderful Google Cloud blog, where you can see all of those announcements. You can see performance benchmarks. You can easily click through and go to the links and check out the software for yourself today. Please reach out with your questions, make PI requests, pull requests. Send us your feedback. We really want to build this with the community in mind. We want to build this with our users and for our users. And we invite all of you to build with us. Amazing. So make sure to check out the links in the description. As Alex said, we'll have everything you need in there. Thank you so much for chatting with us today. And make sure to check out the full talk. And that also will be linked in the description. Thank you for having me.